Hi guys, welcome back to my kitchen. I am working on some winter canning projects and one of the things that I want to get done is can up some meat from the freezer. So I have pulled a few pork roasts out of the freezer and I'm gonna be sharing with you the raw pack method today. I'm gonna to be seasoning those up in a couple different ways to have some easy meals on hand on the pantry shelf. I have my pork cut into about one inch pieces and I have this divided into two bowls because I'm gonna be seasoning this two different ways. Now you could leave this plain, just pack it into some jars with a little bit of salt. However, I do want to pre-season this. So the two ways that I'm gonna be seasoning this is with some Chipotle Southwest. So I'll do that on one bowl and I'm just eyeballing to see about what looks good. And then I'm also going to be doing a homemade pork rub on the other pork and that's just brown sugar smoked paprika garlic salt pepper really simple and that'll be really good i'm using pork from our pigs we got it back about a month ago from the butcher and we have more roasts than i know we'll go through so this is the perfect way to use them up and then we'll have several meals out of one roast and have them all ready to go on the pantry which is going to be really convenient okay that looks good mixed together well I am just going to get this loaded into some pint jars. You could do quart if you prefer, but pint is a perfect size for us. And we want to leave a inch of headspace. You could use a funnel for this. I'm not gonna worry about that. I'll just get the jars cleaned up really well after this. going to get those Chipotle Southwest out of the way so that I don't get these confused and to the rest of this pork I'm just going to add some of this homemade rub again it's just brown sugar smoked paprika garlic powder salt pepper I'll leave the full recipe in the description box down below and I'm just going to get that all mixed together well when you raw pack meat you don't need to add any liquid to the jars so super super simple this is pretty much the process, right? Like the most time consuming part is just gonna be processing in the pressure canner. So that is all mixed together. This is gonna be super delicious. Again, just filling to an inch of headspace. I'm not being too careful about this. I'll come back and clean these up really, really well. I don't raw pack all the meat that I can. We raise our own pork and our own chicken. So with the chicken, I just find that it's easiest to partially cook a whole chicken and then can it up that way instead of having to part it and cut up all the meat. I just find it to be faster if I partially cook the whole bird. Just giving these jars a really good wipe down and then i'll go through with some vinegar to clean up the rims really well especially with the rub that contains the sugar just want to make sure that we have no issues with any of these jars sealing As these process in the canner, the meat is going to shrink down quite a bit in the jar and it's going to release some liquid, which is why you don't need to add any. And aesthetically, raw pack canning meat is not the prettiest thing in the world. However, it is really convenient. Got myself a clean dishcloth here and a little bit of vinegar and I'm just going through to clean up the rims of all these jars just to make sure that they are nice and clean and we have no issues with sealing. And then I'm going to apply my favorite four jars lids and rings to fingertip tight. Now, since I did two different seasonings in these, I am going through with a Sharpie and just writing on the lids now so that 
if I can't tell after they've come out of this canner, I'll know what I have in each jar. These are ready to go into the canner. I'm adding three quarts of water to my Presto. That's what my Presto requires. And I'm just matching the temperature of that water to the temperature of the jars. I've got the canner going behind me and as soon as I see that steady stream of steam coming out of the vent pipe, I'm going to set a timer for 10 minutes and once that 10 minutes is up, I'll put on the regulator and get the canner brought up to pressure. Now for me using a dial gauge pressure canner at my elevation, that's going to be 11 pounds of pressure and pints are going to process for 75 minutes. Quartz, if you wanted to do that, would process for 90 minutes. So a super, super simple process. The most time consuming part of this is just waiting for the pressure canner. And there are so many ways that you can customize just with different seasonings. So a great thing to have on the pantry shelf. I'm going to wrap this up here, but I'll be sure to include the last little bit of this process. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.